All right, so welcome back here, everybody. Now that we have our uh, weights painted uh, and our fish basically ready to uh, be control rigged, we need to go ahead and create the, the controllers for our rig. Uh, we're going to do that here in this lesson. Um, then the next lesson, we'll go ahead and uh, make all the connections that we're going to need. Okay, so let's go ahead here and just uh, start with creating our controls. Um, now there are a couple different ways that we can go ahead and do this. Uh, you can come up here to create NURBS and you know basically use circles and trace geometry and, and create your control curves that way, um, which can be a little bit time consuming. So there's a way to go ahead and um, go around that. Uh, if you go to creativecrash.com uh, and just type in scripts for Maya and you're going to you know, use a controller script, you can create uh, grab a script that's going to allow you to create controllers a lot faster than actually having to do it manually. And to do that, I just simply have uh, one on my shelf here. And this is just my personal um, control creator. And you can see that you know this is very very simple in terms of the actual code uh, so whenever I go ahead and actually click one of these buttons the control curve actually gets created um, but there's also another script on creative crash called the MZ controllers or MZ uh, CTRL con uh, control creator and this is actually a very very good script um, especially whenever it comes to mirroring your script or uh, your control curve over to the other side and I'm just going to use this to basically be mirroring, mirroring my control. So I'm just going to go ahead and pull this off screen. Uh, I'll definitely include uh, a control script creator for you guys. Uh, and you can just follow the instructions in the readme. And it's very straightforward in terms of actually installing them. Okay, so let's go ahead here and uh, create our control curves. So we just need to break down um, exactly what we're going to be controlling. Um, which is going to be based off the actual joint system here. So we know, I know we're going to need one, two, three, four for the fins. Um, we'll go ahead and do two or three for the body, uh, and definitely one for the head here, and you know, one or two for the tail. So let's go ahead and create those. Um, let's start off here with a circle, and I'm going to hit four on my keyboard, and you can see whenever I hit that, that that circle will come in, and so. Um, it's very easy to go ahead and for me to basically create that. I just want to basically put that into place so that it doesn't ask, actually get in the way here. So with that control created, I'm just going to hold down V. To, and I'm going to make sure that I have my geometry referenced here. And just snap it to the joint here. Okay, just so I can get it in place. I'm just going to go ahead and rotate this. And we'll go ahead and scale this up. Okay, just making sure that this is going to be in the right place here. And I'll uh, use this easy resetter that I've gone ahead and created. And, and that's just, you know, three lines of basic code. And let me show you here whenever I run that. Just make sure that I clear my script editor here. So I run it. And it's, you know... Just these basic three lines of code, center, pivot, delete history, and the freeze transformations. Uh, and you guys can, you know, basically use that same code. Just make it a shelf button to really speed up your uh, your workflow. Uh, there's really no tricks there, and it's definitely not really that hard to go ahead and actually get that code. Um, to get that code, all you really need to do is come up here to modify freeze transformations, and you're going to see that it's, let me go ahead and clear this out real quick. Modify freeze transformations, and you're going to see that this will uh, export that command to the script editor. So if I go ahead and just clear that off here and freeze transformations, you're going to see where you're going to get that line of code. Okay, so we'll go ahead and just echo all commands off there. I'll go ahead and close this real quick. Okay, so with that freeze transformations, we need to make sure that we rename this. And um, I want to go ahead and use the naming convention that's not going to be overly complex here, but it's going to be um, very typical of what I usually use whenever I use a naming convention, especially for rigging. So I'm going to call this the CC left 
fin CTRL. Okay, and this is going to come into play whenever we actually start making groups for these so that we can um, point constraint this and also orient constraint. Okay, so what I want to go ahead and do now um, is I need to also color this and go ahead and just simply do this the um, easy way, which is with a color changer script. Uh, and you guys can download this as well from Creative Crash. Or you could always do it the manual way by hitting Control A. Come down to, uh, I do believe it's Object Display, the Drawing Overrides, and just simply enable the overrides and then basically change the color to uh, whatever you would want here. But you can see where that would be uh, a little bit time consuming. So I'll go ahead and just use the Control Color script here. So I'll go ahead and change it back to blue. And if I select that curve, I can basically change it whatever color I want. And it doesn't actually uh, enable the overrides on the control. Okay. So we'll just make sure that that's blue. Go, go ahead and put that off my and onto my other screen here. We'll go ahead and select this. Just making sure that I do uh, have that freeze transformation information on there. Go ahead and hit control D. And to mirror it, I'm just going to hit X here. Uh, I'm not going to have this on screen simply because I'm just going to be mirroring it. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and pull this off screen. And every time that you see that uh, I go ahead and mirror it, I just want you guys to know that's exactly what I'm doing. So you can see where I mirrored it there. And it actually gets parented over or changed over. So I'm going to go ahead and just change the color there. So I definitely want one side to be blue uh, and one side to be red. This way... I know exactly what's what here, and I'll just have to, you know, change the naming convention here from being the, the left side to the right side, so I know exactly what's what. Okay, so we'll go ahead and just simply hit Control D to duplicate that one, and we're going to snap it down here, if I can actually do that here. Okay, so we'll snap it down. I'm just going to go ahead and rotate this. Okay. And I'll go ahead and scale this down. Um, I definitely don't want it to be overly large. But I do want it to be large enough to encompass both sides of the mesh. Okay. So we'll go ahead and just try and place that properly. I'll go ahead and freeze the transformations and center the pivot and clear the history there. We'll go ahead and change it blue just to make sure that I do do that. Okay. We'll just go ahead and rename this to the CC left. Um... Uh, rudder bottom CTRL uh, I'm naming it CTRL because I will eventually go ahead and group this and I want to know the difference between the actual control and the control group and that's going to come into play whenever we get that uh, point constraint so that the control is actually locked to the joint okay so I'll go ahead and hit control D again I'll mirror that over and we'll just rename the group here to the R. And we can also probably take out the rudder bottom and just, you know, make an abbreviation here by simply calling it the RB. And we'll go ahead and do the same thing here for the left side. Just take out that, you know, full name. And we'll just call it the left RB. Okay. Go ahead and turn that red. Okay. So now that we have those controls basically created for the the fins here what I want to do is go ahead and create uh, the control for the head here we'll just simply use another circle go ahead and try and get this where it's going to be go ahead and maybe change the sections here on this to 16 so that I can uh, shape it if I need to okay so we'll go ahead and scale this up and we'll select some vertices on this uh, basically just selecting every other one um, doesn't necessarily have to be that complicated of a shape to actually go ahead and do so we'll just go ahead and select every other one here go ahead and scale this down just a little bit okay we'll go back to object mode and we will try and place this as needed here okay maybe scale and then on the sides, 
go ahead and grab these vertices. Maybe pull those in. Grab that vertice. Grab that one. Grab that one. And grab that one. We'll go ahead and push those out. Okay. Grab this one. This one. Go ahead and pull these up. And we'll just shape it. And you guys can, you know, basically do this any way that you want. Um, you don't necessarily have to follow my method. Uh, you can simply just use the the circle there. But I, I tend to like to go ahead and do that just so I have a little bit of extra shape. And so it looks really cool. Um, let's go ahead and rename this to the CC uh, Head Rotate. Okay. Go ahead and freeze the transformations and center the pivot on that one. And we'll just go ahead and change that maybe to green. Okay, let's go ahead and create our master controller here. So we'll go ahead and just create that circle. We'll rotate this 90 degrees. And we're going to change the sections here um, maybe to 20 or 22. And I'm going to jump into my top window here. Let me go ahead and just pull that off so that you guys can see what I'm doing here. Okay, so we'll go ahead and just try and shape this a little bit. Okay. And that way it encompasses the entire body here. Oops. I don't want to select any joints there. Okay, we'll go ahead and pull this back. Take these verts, pull those in, pull these in as well. And I'm basically just, you know, trying to outline the body here, um, just so it kind of encompasses the actual shape of the body. Adjust that one a little bit. Adjust that one. Okay. Maybe push those out. And we'll just simply grab those and maybe push them back. I'm probably going to have to push these down as well because I can see a little bit of the um, the actual shape. It's getting a little bit weird there. So I'm going to smooth that shape out a little bit. Okay. Jump into our perspective. So there you can see that we have our master controller. Okay. And I'm just going to try and keep that um, at the plane axis where it's, you know, just created. So we'll go ahead and just freeze the transformations on that. And we'll call this the CC uh, Body Master. Okay. Go ahead and change the color on that. I'm going to go ahead and change it to yellow. Uh, this way there's a, a very big difference between yellow and green. And we're just trying to really keep the conventions the same here. So now we're going to need um, what I'm thinking for the spline control because we're going to actually add a spline system in here. So we need to go ahead and create a... Uh, couple cc's for our spline controllers now you can either use you know a circle controller to go ahead and do that but you want to try to keep it um, understandable of what it's going to do so you want the shape to, to really signify what it's going to be doing so to do that I'm just going to simply use a two direction arrow and you can see that it did come in I just need to go ahead and rotate it here Okay, so we'll go ahead and rotate this 90 degrees. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and thin this out a little bit. I'm also going to go ahead and scale it up here. Okay, I'll grab the end vertices on these. And we'll go ahead and scale this down. So if you're looking at it, you definitely know that this arrow is only going to go left and right. Um, I'll definitely take the rotates and the scales off of this, but for right now, you, you know, you can pretty much say that it's only going to go left and right or up and down, and that's fine. So we'll go ahead and just, you know, 
center the pivots, freeze the transformations, and delete the history off of that. We'll call this the CC man body CTRL1. Okay. And I just want to place this uh, where it's going to be at least e a little bit easier to, to go ahead and select, even though um, I'm probably going to end up creating a UI control for this reg just to make it just that much easier. I just want to make sure that um, it's going to be easy enough for myself to go ahead and select. So we'll go ahead and freeze the transformations and center the pivots on that. We'll go ahead and turn it green. We'll go ahead and just simply hit Control D to duplicate that. And I think two is, is going to be fine um, to control the actual spine system. So we'll go ahead and freeze the transformations and center the pivots on that. And we just need one more control here, and this is going to be for the tail. Okay, so we'll go ahead and just simply create another circle. So you can see where this is basically uh, really overly complex here. It's not too bad in terms of actually creating it, so we'll just change the sections on this circle to 16. We'll go ahead and scale this up. And we will go ahead and select, I think, every other vertice here. Control vertex to go ahead and shape this just a little bit here. Okay. And I need to just select this last one. And I'm going to scale down from the middle. Okay, so we get a, at least a little bit of shaping to it. Um, you can always, you know, do a lot more so you get a little bit more like a star system there. Okay. And I just need to scale the entire thing just a little bit there. Go ahead and thin it out. And I just want to make sure that nothing is actually encompassing the actual geometry of the body there. And it's not hitting the body geometry so that looks okay. We'll go ahead and freeze the transformations and center the pivots on that. We'll go ahead and rename this to CC Tail Rotate Control. And we'll go ahead and change the color on this to green. And basically there is our control curves that have been created uh, to go ahead and make the connections for our character. So in the next lesson we'll go ahead and come back. And we will begin the process of creating the connections that we're going to need to go ahead and start uh, animating our character. So.